Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Crate and Art. Today I'm going to show you how I took some of these rabbits I got at the Dollar Tree and turned them into snowmen. So I picked up two of these rabbits from the Dollar Tree here. You're going to need some white paint, some black paint. I have a couple paint trays, some beads. These are some black beads. You could use buttons or whatever else you have. These are just some little sticks here, some orange yarn, a pair of scissors. I got a couple black paint markers. This is just some white um, cording or some really thick like um, thread or, or yarn and a red and white sock, a pink like leg warmer. And I got that little hat from Walmart, some paint brushes, two little wooden skewers here, your glue gun and some glue sticks. So the first thing I did is I'm gonna cut off the feet and just cut them off as close as you can get here. So go ahead and do that to each one of these. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the noses off. Sometimes they just tear off and then sometimes you have to cut them off. This one doesn't really matter because we're gonna put the nose right over top of it. And then you just wanna cut off the ears. And the ears don't have to be really that close because we're going to put hats on these. And then I just ripped off the arms. So now we're going to tie these up and I'm just going to tie it around the neck here on this one. And I just kind of go back and forth, get it how you want it, and then just trim off the extra string. It's like a thicker string here. So I'm just going to do one tie on that one. So it's just going to be like a two body or two part snowman. On this one, I'm going to do this one twice. So we're gonna go ahead and do the neck part for the head. Tie that off here. And then I'm gonna do the bottom. And I'm just gonna take my string and just tie off another section here. So you can do this as loose or as tight as you want. And I just kind of go back and forth to get it how I want it here. And let's just tie it off into a couple knots. And then just trim the thread up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that apple barrel white paint and we're going to paint these. You could have not painted and when you put the hat on, use the face on the back side so the hat would cover up the face. But I went ahead and put two coats of that white paint on there. I really like the texture that that gives. Now here's my skewers and I just trimmed them off here, broke off a piece, and then I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue and I'm just going to glue that to the end of that wooden skewer. And then you're just gonna twist it around and gluing it into a few spots as you go along. You're gonna just wrap that around how you like it and using glue to keep it in place. And just add some glue on the end and it's all good to go. I went ahead and made two of those. Okay, now we're back to these here. I'm going to show you how I put my buttons on or my little beads. You could use buttons. Here's a little hat. I took the little, um, I don't know what you call that little thing, little holder, took it off of the hat. Here's my little beads for the eyes. And then I'm just going to start adding the little beads for the mouth. And I just used five little beads here. And here's my nose. I'm just going to put some hot glue, glue his nose into place. And then here's the hat. I'm just going to glue that hat on at an angle here. You could do it however you want. And then I added three more beads for his little buttons. Now here's the sock. And I'm just going to cut a piece of this off here. And I'm going to use this for his little scarf. And I just cut two pieces and I'm going to glue these together. And then I'm just going to tie it around his neck. And I'm just going to put little, um, cut this little pieces here at the bottom, just to kind of look like it's like a knitted scarf here. Super cute. And 
And then I'm going to show you how I put his arms on. So I just took a piece of these little sticks. You could get some sticks from your backyard. You could use wire, pipe cleaners, whatever you have. And I'm just going to take a couple of these and I'm just going to break them in half so they're not as long. So I'm just going to stick two pieces in each arm. And I'm just going to take my little pokey tool here. And it wasn't quite big enough, so I went ahead and used a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers, and poked the hole a little bit bigger. And then you're just going to take your glue gun, stick it in that hole, and put some glue in there, and then stick your little sticks in. Go ahead and do that to the other side. How cute is this? Now here's my other one. This is the one I used three ties on it. So I cut off a piece of this. You could use a sock gear if you'd like. And then I just put a little glue. I'm just going to turn down the edges just so to keep them from fraying. Just add a little bit of glue and just fold it over. This would be a good time to use your little pink fingertip thing you can get from the Dollar Tree to protect your finger. I didn't have my glue gun on very long, so it wasn't very hot. Let that cool down. We're going to slip it over the neck and just fold it in how you like it. And you could glue it into place if you'd like here. Now I'm going to take another piece of this and I'm going to use this for the hat. So I turned it inside out and then I'm going to take a piece of string and I'm just going to tie it around the top of the hat. You could not do this part. You could leave it like this. You could um, add a pom-pom here. You could just let the top of that fray out. But I would use the same color yarn there for that one string. So I'm going to go ahead and get this situated where I like it. And I'm just going to fold up the edges and just hot glue this into place a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and glue the nose on. Now this one, I wanted to show you, you could just use markers. You don't have to use the beads or buttons. So I went ahead and you could use paint too. I'm just going to use my little paint markers. Just draw on the eyes. And then I'm just going to draw on the mouth. And then I'm just going to add a couple little buttons down here. Now I'm going to do the sticks here the exact same way I did the other ones. I'm going to poke a hole and then poke a hole with my little um, needle nose pliers. I'm just going to add some glue inside that little hole and stick my sticks in. Go ahead and do the other side. Now here I'm going to show you it needs some something else is missing. So I'm going to put some little mittens on it. So I'm just going to cut another piece of this, cut it into two pieces, and then I'm just going to take my glue gun and draw what a mitten would look like. And I'm going to fold it over and then press that together and let that dry. Then I'm going to take my scissors and cut around where I put that glue. Just into the shape of a mitten. I glued it first because I was afraid that that material would come unfrayed too much. But you could use a piece of felt here if you'd like. So I went ahead and made the other mitten. Now I'm going to put these on each side here. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue right inside each mitten. Now how cute is this? I just love the pink. And there's my snowmen. Aren't they cute? Well, if you guys like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody.
Bye.